All righty. So I have a contra- uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> I have a construction update for you guys today. A lot of stuff is about to happen. So I want to start off the video by telling you guys to look really closely. I want you to try and spot something red. And no, not the red thing digging. And nothing at front gate. So whenever you see Extreme Sky Flyer, try and look at what's happening over there. And I want to see if you guys can guess down in the comment section or point out what you see in red before I discuss it in the video. Um, with that being said, a lot of work going on at front gate. Also, a lot of work going on with removing this ice rink. No wonder Wonderland has the ice rink as an upcharge because, boy, like this thing has been being taken apart for about two weeks now. Um, with that being said, front gate is looking really good. Um, I can't wait to see what it, it looks like as a finished product. As you can see down there, they're cutting out lines on this side of the exit as well. So those will form as exits to the park. Um, but here is a close-up shot um, Craig had got for me earlier in the day because I was at work. Um, so as you can see, the crane, that's doing the ice rink. But the um, timber kit buildings look really good. That amber, I think is the right word to call it. Oh, is it amber? Amber stained red wood, whatever you want to call it. Um, that looks amazing. Again, I'm really excited to see this finished product. From what I've been hearing, Front Gate is a two-year project. So this is part one of part two. Um, outside of that, there are definitely larger projects shaping up. So when it comes to the 2025 project, there's been no signs of when I fly for that 45 minutes a day of anything coming in and out of the mountain, but there are signs forming in another plot of land. So um, with that being said, um, front gate is starting to progress rapidly. And like I've been saying, once this is done, you'll start to see this company move inside the park and start working on our 2025 project. Now, with that being said, Rutherford has already started to shift focus. So um, I flew at around 5.30 p.m. today, and boy, was that a good decision. So they started work on removing everything around Extreme Sky Flyer, along with red spray paint being marked on the ground to um, shape out some formations. So whatever that means in the end, very interesting, because there is something going on. Wonderland wants Extreme Sky Flyer out of there and they want it out of there quick so this is a ride that they ultimately could have removed in a one week period um in the spring when it was warmer but they're rushing to get this thing out of there um rutherford is not the company that is going to remove the ride they're the company that's going to remove the concrete um pour any new concrete whatever they're going to do in that area um that is what rutherford's going to be responsible for now, the company that is most likely going to remove this ride is PDI Demolition. Now, whether they use that company or Sky Coaster chooses a company of their choice, um, and this thing's going back to Sky Coaster, I'm not quite sure how this whole process works with a ride that technically Wonderland doesn't own. So that'll be interesting. But as you can see here and the rest of the video, you're going to see Rutherford kind of just go in really quickly, and they're going to remove all the fencing. They start digging a little bit. Um, and yeah, you can see Rutherford go in and analyze all the concrete, um, and you can kind of see them planning something. So the rest of the video, I'm actually going to shift to not talking, um, and it just being music because I don't have much to say outside of Wonderland's got something up their sleeves and this is now the area to watch. Um, I've never, uh, honestly, I, from what I was hearing earlier on, this ride wasn't going to get removed until spring. So it was closed for good, but I wasn't expecting them to come in and pull her out of there until spring. So seeing them mark it up with spray paint everywhere, not involving the ride. Again, pay attention to where the red spray paint is in different shots that I provide. Um, it's quite interesting. So it'll be exciting to see. Again, there is a million possibilities. This could be for 2025. Um, maybe they decided to not go inside the mountain because the structure was so complex um it could be for you know they're building a station on left hill there for the new coaster that then heads over to the mountain or it could be honestly as simple as a new vip area for the prestige pass holders um so it, i mean it could ultimately be anything so it's really difficult to sit here and be like this is what's coming um i will have to figure out what's going on for you guys so give me about a week um, and I should have some more concrete information for you. Haha, <laughs> concrete. But yeah, we stopped off by the company that actually does the ride removals in the past for Canada's Wonderland. So this is PDI Presley Demolition. Um, so this is the company that should be working on removing um, Extreme Sky Flyers. So yeah.
Anyways, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Um, Again, subscribe to our Patreon for daily updates. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.
Cause this is bad Your hands make up for the love we don't have Instantly sleep